Would you want your baby sitting over there smoking a joint? No. It's unacceptable. I love helping people out, and I believe I can help make a difference. Now at 10, we're following two big stories across Green Country tonight. A teenager says he wants to run for city council in one community. While well, Tulsa Public Schools lays out their plan for medical marijuana. That's our focus in tonight's Project Safe Schools. Tonight, the school board unanimously approved a plan that keeps medical marijuana off TPS school property. Two Works for You's Laureen Callard joins us live from Midtown. And Laureen, yet another gray area of marijuana use with state law versus federal law. Well, Scott, the school board made it very clear tonight while state law says that medical marijuana is legal because their district is federally funded. They say they have to follow federal law, which states that marijuana is a prohibited controlled substance. We cannot have marijuana on our grounds, regardless of whether or not it is used for medical purposes. The board approving the policy, saying it's not a modification, but a clarification as state laws change regarding medical marijuana. I don't think it needs to be around our children at all. I mean, totally. It's unacceptable. Unacceptable. While some parents feel that way, others are disappointed the district is treating medical marijuana as a drug instead of medicine. Just CBD doesn't work for everyone. You know, some of those kids need the THC strains, and it's not okay for them to forbid that from these children. While it's not allowed on campus, the board made it clear that students can take their prescribed medical marijuana before school, and if they need another dosage, can be taken off campus to receive it and then come back. It's just old school not to think that ma marijuana is different than any other drug that we take for our health. The board for Oklahoma City Public Schools voted to allow medical marijuana as long as the administer brings the product on campus and then removes it from the property after the student is given the proper dosage in a private location. We cannot be calling patients and parents criminals or discriminating against these children who already have enough devastation in their lives because of the need for continuing medical treatment and disabilities. The policy says the district cannot discriminate of a student, parent, or teacher status as a medical marijuana license holder. This policy although does it also doesn't impact their current employee contracts. Reporting live in Tulsa, Lauren Callender, Two Works For You.